This video will show you how to live stream video from Studio Artist. You can use streaming with Dual Paint to output auto-generated abstract animations, or you could use it to capture Studio Artist painting in real time. Or you can use it to output a folder of numbered images from a paint action sequence. You can also use it to output a folder of EPS or SVG files. Before you stream video in Studio Artist, you will need to first set up the movie settings in the Studio Artist preferences and also set output flags. Let me show you how to do that. First, let's set up the movie preferences. It's best practice when doing streaming to set the process frame timing to movie codec FPS and set the frames per second manually. Right now it is set to whatever the frames per second of the source movie. But since we will not generally be using a source movie when streaming, this should be set to movie codec FPS. Then movie output FPS and the movie stream autoride FPS should be set manually. Generally these two settings should be set to the same number. Since streaming uses a fair amount of processing resources, you will need to experiment with this. Generally 24 to 30 frames per second is good for loop action in the dual paint mode which I will be showing in a second. For recording auto paint, generally you could get away with 10 to 15 frames per second. Again you need to experiment, depending on your processor, and your desired outcome. I am going to set it to 30, since I will be demonstrating the dual paint mode. Next we need to set the auto write flags. You will find them in File, Stream and then, Flags. Here you will find these five options. The first option, Enable Always Auto Write, should be used sparingly. It does not gate anything and will record continuously until you close the stream, whether or not you're doing anything in Studio Artist. This enable gated auto write setting, you will use most of the time for streaming. This setting will only engage and start recording when something is done in Studio Artist. For instance, when you run a paint action sequence or you run loop action in dual paint, recording will start and continue until either the paint action sequence is finished or you have stopped loop action. These three options, the Enable Write at Operation End or Paint Action Sequence Cycle or Gallery Show Cycle settings, will only engage at the end of an operation. So, for instance, it will only write out a movie frame when a preset, or a paint action sequence or gallery show cycle is completely finished. Now I am going to choose the gated auto write setting and choose File. Then Stream. And New Movie Stream. Now I just need to name the output movie and do a few things to record. First I will record a paint action sequence preset. And now I will engage loop action in dual paint. Now that I am finished I need to close the open stream. And now I'll open the output movie. Before we finish here I want to explain a few of the other streaming settings. The new image stream will output frames as numbered images to a folder. You can choose what image format you want in the movie preferences. New EPS and SVG Vector Stream will output a folder of EPS or SVG files when you are rendering presets that are vector. SVG files generally work best with most of Studio Artist's vector presets and we recommend you generally use this format. Have fun streaming! And reach out to our support if you have any questions.